Whenever I was a little girl, I said, when I grow up, I'm going to have me a house full of dogs. My passion was golden retrievers. I raised them and showed them until one of my sons was born and he was allergic to my golden retrievers and so that's what launched us into our golden doodle side of the breeding program. It turned out to be the best thing we ever did because he was able to be around them and then we knew that we were stepping into the path that we were supposed to take. In the very beginning, I did everything. I was on the phone, I was birthing the puppies, I was grooming the dogs. And so if I was gonna take my program to the next level, I learned early on how to delegate. Our family actually started out being our first staff. Now I have a full staff here and our staff is divided into two groups. It is the people care team and the dog care team. Here at the farm, it's not like everywhere else. I've worked in the corporate world and it's a family here. One of the things Sherry really fosters is things are not always gonna go perfect. We are always looking to do more and do better. Some examples of some of the things that we've learned along the way, well, a great one is our setup and the layout of our kennel. We're gonna make sure that our litters are housed in a way where there's not direct exposure from one to another because that's the best way to prevent illness from spreading. I can tell that our dogs are getting what they need because we weigh our puppies every single day. Each litter has a chart. We check their tags. We have all of their medical protocol in that folder. And we can actually watch their growth based on their weight chart and we know that they are developing properly because of the nutrition that they're getting. We've been feeding Purina Pro Plan in our program forever. Through the years, that's one of the things that I've had to learn as a breeder, don't mess with their food. Whenever you look at a dog, you can visually tell if they're getting good nutrition by just looking at their coat, looking at their stool, looking at their gums, their eyes, their skin. We introduce the Fortiflora to our moms during the time that they're pregnant because that GI health is so important. It used to be that we used Fortiflora only when puppies were having issues. Now Fortiflora is fed daily and we keep the puppies on that throughout the time that they're building up their immune system. Our goal is that our dogs get the best of everything and the best nutrition, the best care throughout their whole life cycle. From the time that they are born, while they're in our program growing up, and to the day that they retire. Here at Smoralia, we have two different PE programs. We have Parent Enrichment Program and the Puppy Enrichment Program. Now. So when we're doing puppy enrichment, there's a lot of different things that we do, but the goal is novelty. We work on introducing one new sight, one new sound, one new texture at minimum every single day. We want to introduce so many new things to our puppy that they generalize the concept of newness, which means that nothing is new anymore. With our parent enrichment program, which is a totally different process, our dogs are athletes. And as athletes, we basically assess them each as individuals. So if we've got a dog who just really wants to go chase a ball into the pond and splash, we're gonna do that. If we have other ones that wanna get out and wrestle and play with their buddies, like a dog park, we'll absolutely do that as well. Everything is kind of tailored to the individual dog. We are always planning for what's next. For each and every one of our parent dogs, what's next is to be adopted into a family. People now know that our dogs retire at a certain age, and so they actually will get on a waiting list for the retiring older dogs, just like they'll get on the wait list for a puppy. If I'm gonna retire this mom, ideally we plan for her replacement at five, and at seven years old, we spay her and take her out of the program. Now for our males, they're living the great life here, so they can go a little bit longer. That's just all up to their viability. It's always great to see who's gonna adopt our puppies and our parent dogs, but not every potential puppy owner will be a great puppy owner for our puppies. 
So we actually screen them. We have to go in, read the application, and approve them and accept them as a puppy owner. And then the matching process begins. I want to see clients get the dog, not a dog. I want to see them get the dog they were meant for, the puppy that was born to be their blessing. Dogs will all day long lose their home because of temperament issues as opposed to a look or something else. So temperament is everything for us. The way that we know that a puppy is ready to go into a home and to its new family is through our temperament assessment process. We do lots of handling and interaction. We have very controlled play time where we're assessing what's going on. We're also going to make sure that that puppy is not only ready for crate training, potty training, able to physically handle it, but we're going to make sure that that owner is the right fit and that they have the information that they need to be as successful as possible with that puppy. One of the greatest things that happens here at Smurray is the Gotcha Day experience. When the puppy gets to go home, the day that bond begins with their family, it is so special to us. And so we've actually created this incredible experience and this atmosphere of excitement. We have a hospitality team, we have our puppy kid, we offer them food and drinks and photographs and we have videos made. It's like having a baby, but they're having a puppy. I was one of the first breeders out there that would just show them where the puppy was raised, show them our family, show them our behind the scenes. Now when they walk in here for their Gotcha Day experience, I mean, it is common that they run up and hug me and they start talking about my life and my family. A lot of people ask me how I feel about that, being so transparent and being out there. Maybe a little bit of risk, but I feel like it is probably the most valuable thing I've ever done for my program. I still get up every day, loving the dogs, seeing these amazing puppies, seeing just all the cuteness that happens here. It is my heart and my passion. <laughs>